Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to actually show you, as you can see on the About um, screen now, Synthesizer V Studio from Dream Tonics. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So what is Synthesizer V Studio? Well, it's a fantastic music production tool which allows you to create vocals at no others. And um, you create vocals with different voices. You have option to uh, change the, um, the tuning, uh, to change uh, or creating, for example, pitch uh, deviation effect in, in, in inserting, uh, for example, vibrato effects to voices, etc., etc. You can do a lot with it. It actually uses a deep neural and uh, natural based um, synth engine behind the scene, but um, it works um, completely offline, so you don't have to worry to actually have always connectivity available or losing your work. So let's close the About screen now, and let's go through the interface and the controls of um, of the application of, the, of uh, Synthesizer uh, vStudio. As you can see, I have also the Pro Edition, and it comes also with a free edition. Of course, I recommend that um, you actually uh, try the Pro Edition. So, starting from the very top, you have um, a section called Arrangement. And you can see the different section because they have also an arrow pointing down. So, if you click on the arrow, you actually minimize the Arrangement section. And, uh, of course, in this case, the Piano Roll section has been enlarged. Of course, you can click again on the arrow to expand that arrangement section. In the arrangement section, you have tracks. As you can see here, I have two tracks, a green one, which a voice associated, uh, which is called Kevin, and also a blue one with um, the Natalie voice associated to the particular track. You also see a menu here, an hamburger menu, and you can see this hamburger menu actually in other part of the screen, like so, for the piano roll, like. And if you click on it, of course, you get uh, options related to that particular section of the screen. But you can also click up here on, with the right button on, on your mouse, of course, and have access to similar, in this case, uh, option like to create a new track or also to create an instrumental track, which uh, would be very good because you can import your instrumental track and then add voices on top uh, of your instrumental track. And that is really, really cool because then you can create your harmony, choir, different singing voices, etc., etc. As you can see, for every track which you can select, you see changes, of course, appearing on the piano roll. Like in uh, this case, uh, Natalie is singing uh, um, these four notes, classical Do, Re, Mi, Do um, note here. And then if I go to the first track, what I have, Kevin, is actually playing a very low note. You can see down to the bottom. Um, when you have a, a section selected, like in this case arrangement, you have some transport control up here for playing, looping, etc. Stop recording, moving uh, at the beginning, etc. And if I uh, put the focus on the piano roll, the transport control will move along with you, which I think is actually very nice. Of course, you can uh, scroll like so, left and right. And um, if you have the piano roll um, section active, you can also use uh, uh, a scroll wheel, um, your wheel on the mouse to scroll, okay? Like, um, like so. And of course, you can use control like control and shift to change the way you scroll or also zoom in and out. On the right hand side at the top here, you have a side um, bar or you have a launch bar here with different side panels. So the first one you click on it is related to voice with a lot of different parameters. We're not going to go through them now for this first tutorial, but we'll come back to those. And you can click and add on, uh, add, or cl click and open other side panels like so. And what you can also do, if you go to the name of a side panel, you can see the mouse cursor is changing to this hand. Click and hold and drag outside, and then you can practically detach that side panel like so. And you can do that um, uh, for others as well, which um, is really nice. And as you can see, you have uh, this color green on the right hand side, which tells you that they are active. You can click on it and they will disappear like so. Then if you click on them again, they it will remember that they are detached as panel. Of course, you can click on a panel and a detached panel, click and drag, 
uh, click hold and then drag and then as you move it uh, closer to the launch bar you see this vertical blue line and if you drop it there then you will reconnect that panel like so so you can attach a multiple side panel this next one is on node property libraries dictionary and uh, rendering for your file rendering which is really useful and what is really nice is also the side panel uh, here which um, as the symbol of the cloud because it tells you what are the products that you have installed so in this case i have the synthesizer v studio pro which is installed and then i have two voices kevin and natalie and of course if i click on one of them i can see if um, i need to update them i can see the version which has been installed uh, um etc etc and of course i have also some general settings and this is where for example you choose your audio system in this case uh, core system you could choose for example your output device and uh, if you have for example an um, audio interface this is where you can direct the output to the audio interface or you can have also your midi input device again very useful if you are using for example again an audio interface so lots to do okay but um let me show you a little bit what it can do and this is just a little bit uh, of um, an example which I created quickly, but we'll do way, way much more as we progress. So let's uh, um, scroll down a bit so you can see the notes here that Natalie is playing. And also for Kevin, you can see the note that is actually playing here. And uh, when I have selecting the uh, Kevin track, you can see in blue also the notes that uh, Natalie in the, on the second track is actually playing, which is really, really nice. Really, really nice. And uh, it goes without saying, you'll see it in the next tutorial. You can create notes, drag and drop them, all of that stuff. But for now, let me show you what you can do. And uh, of course, I have actually added uh, the um, lyrics, so you can create melodies just... Um, uh, creating notes and then you can add the, the lyrics to it as well which is really powerful so you can create your own songs do, re, mi, do. so really 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 nice and as i said this is just a small example to get you started and you can see i'm going to show you you click and drag you can create a task like so right Oh, let me show you create a new track very quickly. We just say, this is Kevin again. And then we create some notes like that. And then we go and um, back at the beginning and play. And if I mute the first two track, like so you will hear only that last track that I ever added. Okay, and I can reset, of course, either position of the playhead. La, la, la. It's simple as that. You double click on a note and you say, um, hi, or you click on the next one, double click on the next one, and you say, morning, right? And then you press enter, and then you can also drag and drop to extend the length of that note. So let me uh, try what I just created now. La, hi, morning. So you will appreciate it's really a, a really nice uh, music production tool and um, as we progress with the tutorials you see a lot of different options one thing i actually forgot to mention is on this menu here on the piano roll if you click on it you can add a parameter panel which you can see here down to the bottom and you can of course you can change the size of it and here on the parameter mode you can change for example to edit the pitch deviation over a vibrato envelope uh, loudness tension etc etc which is really a uh, Alpha, and you can add more than one and this is very useful because you can have different uh, um, parameters that you are editing and of course when you finish you actually click on the X to actually gain back more uh, um, space on your screen to actually play in this case with your piano roll okay I hope you enjoyed this first tutorial and as always see you next time bye